I've got to tell you the truth. I've kind of let myself go a little bit. There's a great line in The Cowboys, you know, the movie with John Wayne in it. Absolutely one of my most favorite movies of all time. Where John Wayne says something like, tending a little bit towards the gut myself, son, when the, all the boys show up to be cowboys and just go find it. It's a great quote, but it's more than just my gut. I have started running again. The shed. The shed. Remember all those great YouTube videos from like a year ago or something like that where I was talking about how we're going to put cement in the shed and we're going to change everything in the shed and we took all the stuff out and we put it in the lean-to we put the concrete down and it was amazing and then I got those shelves over there and we started organizing everything on the shelves and it was amazing and then we were going to put the freezer in here and it was going to be amazing and everything was going to be amazing. Well, let me just tell you what. I've let myself go and this shed is just a pile again and the shelves are there and they're a pile and everything is a pile and it's got to change because we're making some progress on the freezer or I at least know when we're going to make some progress on the freezer. If you don't know the story of our walk-in freezer, this is our walk-in freezer and we've had it outside and it wasn't ever running on our farm. It does work, it does run, it's got good components inside. The problem is, is that it was three phase and so we've never been able to hook it up because obviously we don't have any three phase on our farm. There has been a long process of finding somebody in the current climate where everybody is busy and not everybody can find employees and just lots of stuff needs to be done. It's been difficult for us to find somebody to work on the freezer now We've somewhat got them scheduled and it'll be sometime the 1st of November or around the 1st of November. So we're excited about that. But in order to get all of that done, I want to get, I, I just need to get this place cleaned up. So that's what needs to happen. And by needs to happen, I mean, that's what's going to happen right now. I'm going to take some time to start cleaning. And then at some point, I want to walk you around the shed and tell you what needs to happen before the freezer work can start. And just in general, what I would like to have happen before the winter starts, which it's September 28th today, but it's also going to be close to 90 degrees. So hopefully winter is like four, five months off. came to my attention the other day that I hadn't given an update on little Daisy here, the little purple halter heifer calf that we have. As you can see, she is doing very well. She is growing. She's eating a little bit of grain. We did, as you know, if you have been watching, we did decide to give her a little bit of grain since she was a bottle calf. We wanted to have her the best start or give her the best start that we could. She is doing good. Daisy, you cannot be a head butter. We did have her dehorned. They never came back, or not dehorned, disbutted. There is a difference. So that is good. Now she's just out hanging out with the sheep. These are the ewes that are being bred. At least that's the plan. They're supposed to be being bred. We've got the ewes there, some ewes over there, and that's the ram over there hanging out. All right, I wanted to show you that because now I want to go talk about what I've been doing inside. Some people are like natural cleaners and natural organizers. My wife is very good at that. I am not very good at that. Some people will sit down and tackle a job like this and they'll just keep going until it stops. I've been working just under three hours on it and um, yeah, that's about all my mind and my brain can handle. I did, this is not an excuse, but an excuse. I did figure out why it's so difficult for me to like clean this the way I want this clean. Part of the reason is because buckets like this one 
what I've got going on in this shed is not so much taking things that I have like taken out of their spot and putting it back in their spot. But what is happening in here is I am bringing stuff in and trying to find new homes for things. Some of the things are things that I really don't want to get rid of, but I really don't know when I'm going to use. For example, this bucket right here had in it this barrel pump right here. I don't want to get rid of this barrel pump because I know exactly what I want to use this barrel pump for. In the past, we have used apple cider vinegar for our hog feed. It comes in 55 gallon drums or that's one way you can get it. You have to be able to pump it out of the 55 gallon drum and I want to use this barrel pump in order to pump it out of the 55 gallon drum. So I don't want to get rid of that barrel pump, but I'm not going to be able to get that barrel pump in use until I have a place that stays warm so my apple cider vinegar doesn't freeze in the winter. And I'm not going to have that until the shed is, you know, somewhat buttoned up. And I'm not going to have that until the shed is somewhat cleaned up and you see the problem, I'm sure. I, I hope you see the problem. Another issue is that this isn't just like completely a fix-it shed, a freezer shed, an equipment storage shed. This is also an animal lean-to shed. Hello sheep, how are you two doing today? We have livestock on this side, which means dust and just all sorts of stuff goes up and over and into this side, which means constant sweeping to keep everything nice and clean. And then there is, you know, the oddball times when I accidentally leave a gate open over there and the sheep come and poop in here. I had to spend some time scraping poop off the ground. That was definitely my fault. The fix to that is walls, right? Behind the freezer, I started putting the walls in. Those walls, really before winter, it would be nice if they could go all the way to the top and all the way across so that any dust from bedding or having livestock on that side of the shed stays on that side of the shed. Of course, then there's like two majorly obvious things. And one is that this shed is just not big enough. My uncle told me that 10 years ago when we built it or however long it was, he said, nice shed, not big enough. We've got these great shelves, but they are filling up really fast. I've got all this stuff on the floor. I've got stuff on the floor over there. And in the winter, I wanna be able to get the grinder mixer and the tractor and possibly another tractor or a piece of equipment in here. And in order to do that, I just, Man, I don't know if there's space for it. The other obvious thing, that's garage doors. I've been talking about them for a year. They need to be put on. That will help dust not only coming from the livestock side with the wall back there, but stuff blowing in from this side right here. Garage doors, important. As with any cleaning project on this farm, it takes a mess to clean up a mess. So I have made a pretty good mess and I'm gonna kinda you know, leave this mess until I start on it again tomorrow. But I, I do feel like there was progress made today. Maybe not a ton of progress, but a little bit of progress. I think the biggest thing that's gonna help is getting this freezer done behind me. Once this freezer is set up and running, that's gonna change everything because what we are going to do, and I've talked about it before, is not only have a wall back here at the back of the shed, but we're gonna put a wall along here, along this side of the freezer. We're gonna insulate it, so that's just more insulation for the freezer. And then we're going to put a loft, not just like set stuff on top of the freezer because it's not made to handle that, but we're gonna put boards across and another wall on the other side of the freezer and then boards all the way out to the side of the shed so that then it's almost like we have a mezzanine or a loft or something. That will give us lots of places for stuff like all that stuff up there or like that pump that I want for that 55 gallon drum. I need it, I want to keep it because it would be silly to get rid of it at this point, which Maybe it wouldn't be silly to get rid of it at this point, but I feel like it would be silly to get rid of it at this point, but I really don't have a great place to put it. With a mezzanine porch loft, whatever we want to call it up there, then I feel like we would be able to put stuff up there, leave it up there, know that it's up there, and then go get it when we need it. It would also give us a place to put all sorts of kid stuff like bikes and sleds that you just don't use all year long. And that triathlon bike over there that I haven't used in, you know, long, long time. Luckily, it was just my mom's bike. I just borrowed it, and I think she's done with it, so I don't think she's missing it, and I don't think I'm doing any triathlons anytime soon. One other problem we have is these barrels, and I won't try to bore you with any other details like this. I've tried to make the last couple of videos more informative, but all of those barrels are for feed. Feed for cats, feed for dogs, feed for chickens, feed for Daisy the calf, 
and those on that side of the shed they just honestly kind of make a mess so what i'm thinking is we'll have a more permanent fence right here where i've got all these gates stacked up and a semi-permanent fence here's the door that goes into the shed and in here this dirt floor area where i've got a gate over there where i can you know back in the auger and all that good stuff we'll make that area a feed storage area and then we'll have you know this will keep the feed out of that that will keep rodents away as much as possible from the freezer and the insulation and anything there those are all my thoughts like i said i hope you enjoyed this video i don't want to overwhelm you with just like crazy day in the life of this beginning farmer stuff but that's what happened today i will not show you the rest of the cleaning process hopefully at some point i will just walk in show you that it's clean thank you so much for watching if you like the video like comment subscribe all of that good stuff i appreciate you all very much especially the interaction that you guys have been having in the comments lately thumbs up thumbs up to you